Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jill with Go English Coach. So excitingly today, we're going to get started with consonants. And behind me, I've got the 24 consonant sounds that we have in English. So let's take a look. You've got the sound. Remember when we use these like hash marks, that means it's the sound. It's not the spelling. Many cases with the consonants, those are the same. So you can see here the sound is B and it's spelled with a B, right? The sound is P and it's spelled with a P. So it's sound and spelling are the same. Then you move into some of these other kind of more unique um, symbols, right? So you've got this kind of long stretched out S and that's the sh sound. So let's take a look. And if any of these are difficult for you, what I'd like for you to do is just simply, you know, circle them. Here's what your job is. Circle sounds that are difficult for you. Uh, maybe they do not exist in your first language, or maybe they are ones that you, gosh, you know, you make mistakes on it all the time. Or maybe you didn't know that this sound even existed. And you'll see what I mean with some of these, okay? So let's go ahead and as we're writing these, either write on your piece of paper or circle it or however you want to do it, indicate to yourself somehow that this is a consonant sound that you need to practice, okay? Okay, so let's start here. So we've got b, b, boat. Okay, so obviously I'll just underline where that sound is. We have pink, pink. So notice when I'm making these sounds <clears throat> that the place of articulation, we call that the point of articulation is for this and this, it's in the same place. So boat, the sound comes right here, maybe from my lips, maybe from the side, you can see it better. Boat, you can see that my lips come together, but, and then there's a sound that comes, boat, boat, okay? So in the same position, the same point of articulation, articulate is to say, so the point where the sound comes from in your mouth is the same with this, same, with this letter. The point of articulation in my mouth is exactly the same. We make the sound in the exact same way, but something is different between b and p. Okay, think about that. Great, same here, d dance, and t, table. Those are the same two. Both of these have the same point of articulation. D, d. My tongue is touching behind my mouth, behind my top teeth. Dance and table. Dance, table. It's the same movement, the same place in my mouth that those two sounds are coming from, okay? Think again, what is the difference between those two sounds? If they come from the same place in your mouth, what is different? Dance and table. Next we have go, g, g. If you can feel it, it happens back here in the back of your throat, okay? Go, g, 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 go. And then kick, kick. It comes from in the back of your throat, in the back of your mouth, at the top of your throat. This is your throat, this is your mouth, and where those two come together is where that sound happens, okay? Kick, kick, g, g, okay? Those are the same places there. And <clears throat> so F and V, so five, Look at my teeth here. So my teeth touch my mouth, my bottom lip, okay? Fine, fine. So you can feel air coming out. Fine, okay? And then you have very, very. So the same point, the same position in my lips and mouth. Fine, very, very, okay? Okay, so we have two that are the TH sound. I bet you didn't know that, maybe you did. But we have two versions of the TH sound in English. 
We have this one that is think, think, and this one is then, then. Same position, again, like the same thing that's happening here. These are a pair, 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 pair. This is a pair, and this is a pair. And then this is a pair, and this is a pair, <laughs> okay? Think, my tongue comes through my teeth. I'm making it, I'm exaggerating. So sorry if this is disgusting to you. Think, think. My tongue comes through my teeth. So my teeth are coming <laughs> maybe like this, right? So my tongue comes through my teeth. Think, then. The same position, then. Two different sounds, very, very similar, but they're different, okay? So most people don't have a problem with the sound, so. And the next one is zoo. Zoo. Again, they come from the same place in my mouth. So my tongue is, if these are my teeth, my tongue is right behind, right behind my teeth. So, and zoo. Same place in the in the mouth for s and z. Okay, different sounds, same place. We have, this one is the S-H sound in English, which we say is shh. We say that to be like quiet, quiet, shh. Okay? S H. Most of the time, there are other ways to make this sound in spelling. Um, for example, let's see here. So if we have the word nation, nation, we have N A N A SH. Okay, so sometimes this S H sound is created by a T. Okay, those are kind of the two most common ways to spell it. So shoe, and then beige, j, j. This is the symbol here. So it's kind of like a three or like a Z with a, a big curve on the bottom of it. And these two come in the same place in your mouth as well. Okay, so we've got shoe, and then this one is beige. Same, your, same position, same, the way we make the sound is in the same place. Okay. And then we have here ch chair. Ch this is the ch sound in English. Okay, so uh, ch ch chair. And then we've got j j juice. So it's the j sound, but sometimes we have it with g or dg. But just know that these two, the ch and j, come from the same place in the mouth as well. Okay. Um, and then we've got these over here that kind of, they don't, like, these are all kind of paired together, okay, That because they have the same point of articulation. Let's move over here. So we've got R, L, M, N, N, Y, W, and H. So let's look at these sounds. So the R sound. Now, um, for some of my students, this is a difficult sound. And why is that? Because the English R it does not exist in many other languages. L is another one that is pretty difficult for many students because it maybe just doesn't exist in their first language. So light, light. My tongue is right behind my teeth, on my top teeth, light, light. All right, let's keep going. M, I think this is in every almost every language. I would have to do some research on that, but mm, mm, it's in most languages, I believe it's a baby's like first sound is m, m, right? Because they're asking for food and, <laughs> right? N, the N sound is n, 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 no. Ing, ing. This is a sound that comes from back here, even further back than where G and K come from. That comes from K. N comes from a little even lower back here. And it's a, com in, in English, it's a combination sound. We make it, this is the symbol for it. It's like an N that wraps around the bottom, okay? And we use this for the I-N-G sound in English. Okay, yes, Y can be difficult for some people. Yes. Okay. Wet. Wet. 
Look at my mouth, wet, 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 okay? And the last one is head, okay? Thank you all for being here. Thank you, and I will see you in our next class. Bye.